This short video concerns the procedure for the in-situ vein shear test on soil. The video shows the procedure for the field test and how to handle the test results. The purpose of the vein shear test is to determine the in-situ strength in cohesive soils normally related to the on-drain shear strength of the soil. The vein shear test consists of inserting a vein into the soil and then rotating it by applying a torque. The torque is measured when developing a failure and this is the in situ shear strength in undisturbed soil. The torque measured after rotating the vein 10 times is the remolded shear strength. I will now show you how to perform the test. The equipment needed for the test is a stainless steel vein A carried on the end of a 1.5 meter high tensile steel route or a stainless vein B also carried on the end of a 1.5 meter high tensile steel route. Vein A is used for firm clay and vein B is used in soft clay. A loose handle, a fixed handle, a copper hammer, a folding ruler, a spring balance and pen and paper. Before you start uh, the measurement, you have to assemble the, assemble the equipment. Uh, on the route, you have to make sure that it's marked for every 20 centimeters because you take out the test per 20 centimeters. So if it's not marked on the route, you take a folding ruler and you start from the bottom of the vein and then you mark it for every 20 centimeter. When that's done, you start putting on the handle. You have the fixed handle like this, and there's a round hole and a squared hole. And then you take the loose handle here, and these two have to be connected. You have a hook here for the spring balance and you also have a hook here for the spring balance. They have to be on the same side. Then the square part has to be downwards and is put on the root here like this. <coughs> you have this small stick. The stick is only used when you pull back up the the vein and not it cannot be in here when you hammer down or penetrate the, the vein. The spring balance is fixed here so you need to take out the small clips and put the spring balance here before you start the test. The spring balance has to be mounted on between the two hooks and it's a very good idea to to mount it so that you can see the scale from the outside so you don't have to go on the other side when you have to make the measurement. It has to be put on so that when you start twisting it will go apart here and you can measure the, the vein shear strength. You use a copper hammer and it has to be of copper because it's soft. Uh, and then you start penetrating and remember this small stick cannot be in the hole when you do this and you go down to the first line the first 20 centimeters here then the first measurement is for the undisturbed strength and it has to take about two minutes to go one uh, to, to find the maximum value. So you go very, very slow. And you can feel when you have hit the, the maximum value. And when you have reached that after approximately two minutes, you read the scale. 
So you take the measurements from the scale, stop here, and you write it down in your table here and with 0.2 meters you write the, the number from the scale in kilogram. That was six. Then you twist the handle ten times and one time is 360 degrees. So this was one, two, three and you have to make sure that you don't disturb the soil underneath the vein as you twist here. After 10 times you make a new measurement again very very slowly and then you read the new maximum value here and that would be the strength of the remolded soil. You put it in the table here again in kilogram and then you are ready to penetrate another 20 centimeters. And again check carefully that it's 20 centimeters here. Then you start the measurements again by taking the undisturbed strength first and again you twist very very slowly. After approximately two minutes you read the maximum value. You write it down Twist the handle 10 times and after 10 times again you find the strength of the remolded soil. When you are done with your test and usually we go down to approximately one maybe 1.4 meters, you have to pull up the root again and here you use a small stick. There is a small hole here and you need to put in the stick to the hole and then you can pull back up the root, take it back to the lab and clean it. As shown in the video, all measurements are written down and saved for determination of the in situ vein shear strength. The shear strength in the soil can be found by dividing the maximum values on the spring balance with the following numbers. For the A vein you divide by 0.0685 and using a B vein you divide by 0.21. Reperform the test in firm clay and use a vein A. The result from the test are shown in the table. During the test be aware of the following. If the test is performed in sand or gravel, you cannot use strength parameters. The result will give an indication of the compaction. When testing the vein shear strength in moraine clay, be aware of high strength could be because the vein was stuck in rocks. In cracked clays, the undrained cohesion is only one third of the in situ shear strength.